I first found Squist as an intern uh, because through my Master's of Journalism program, we needed to complete between the first and second years so in the summer there. Uh, we needed to complete an internship and we were able to choose which organization we wanted to do that through. But as long as we just got writing experience, and for myself, I knew that I really wanted to do my internship at a STEM focused organization. And so whether that was through more like a, a standard journalistic news agency or more a communications job, that was one thing that I needed to figure out. And in kind of looking around to see what there was, I how I ended up finding Squist was I just searched through, it was through Google, that I looked um at just stem organizations in vancouver and squist was one of the top ones that popped up i looked through the website and as i was kind of just looking through to see what what the organization was what the focus was i knew that that was what i was interested in and kind of aligned with what i would want for my internship of just really women focused on stem and being able to be a part of communicating the work that was done. So from there, I did essentially it was a, a cold email to Christine in the communications when she was part of communications, asking just, is that something I could do that I was from the journalism school at UBC wanting to do an internship and kind of seeing if that was something we'd be able to figure out and the rest kind of went from there that, yeah, we were able to figure out my internship. I was able to do uh, a lot of writing and I really enjoyed my time as an intern. And from there, it kind of snowballed to other positions um, as I kind of continued working with Squist. It's tough to, it's tough to choose just one. I remember one that really, I don't know, I felt like that was kind of a moment where oh I feel like a a journalist or a communicator was we got um we got approached by it was I'm pretty sure it was the publicist representing um the author of space as is cool as f <laughs> um and they were asking if we would be interested in uh writing an article about the book and the author and I I remember thinking that was really cool to be approached about something like that and made me feel like I was kind of I don't know that actually being approached was a big step of being a bit more established rather than, I didn't feel like a student at that moment I felt more like a an actual writer and an actual journalist or communicator Uh, so I did my undergraduate degree in behavioral neuroscience at UBC. Uh, so it, when I went through it, the program, it was um, just a BSc in psychology. It was later renamed kind of as, as soon as I graduated. So I still got the psychology on my diploma versus now it's behavioral neuroscience. And from there, I, so I was really interested in kind of the psychology aspect and I was after I finished my undergraduate, kind of trying to decide what I wanted to do from there. If I wanted to pursue graduate school in, say, like psychology, clinical psychology, or I, I always really enjoyed writing, which is why I ended up kind of going more the journalism route. But I wanted to be able to combine my two interests of science and writing, which is how I ended up um, doing science writing. <laughs> So I'm really excited to see Squist continue to grow because even from when I first started as an intern to when I did kind of more contracting work with events of just seeing how much it had expanded in that short amount of time in terms of like the, the amount of events that um, the organization was able to host and uh, also just the size of the events, the number of people that were attending. And yeah, seeing the reach of it really grow was super exciting to see and be a part of. Um, so that's something that 
I would hope, um, can continue for Swiss, that it's able to continue to be recognized as a force to be reckoned with, uh, within kind of women in STEM. And one thing I've been really excited to see as well is um, seeing the grants that are available for young girls in STEM. I think that's a really, really wonderful thing to have available. So I'm excited to see that continue on and potentially grow as well, being able to support more and more young girls to pursue it from an early age.